In parallelogram ABCD shown below, the bisectors of angle ABC and DCB meet at point E, a point on AD. Okay, so let's uh, put in the uh, markings to indicate that as such. So uh, the angle bisector, so that means these angles over here are going to be congruent and these angles over here are going to be congruent. Okay, uh, if angle A is 68 degrees, so this is 68 over here, determine and state angle BEC. All right, so uh, it's stated in the beginning here that ABCD is a parallelogram. So if that's the case, then opposite angles are going to be congruent. So that means angle A, which is 68, is going to be congruent to all of angle C, which is now partitioned into two equal halves. So that means each of these are going to measure 34 apiece, because that's half of 68. Another property um, that you should know about parallelograms is consecutive angles are supplementary. So all of angle B and angle A should add up to 180. So all of angle B, so angle ABC that is, should equal to 180 minus 68 degrees. And what is that? That is equivalent to uh, 112 degrees. So therefore, half of that is going to be 56. So that means these are going to measure 56 apiece. All right. So we want to determine what is angle BEC. So since angle, so since, uh, BEC forms a triangle, the three angles in a triangle should be supplementary. So let's call this angle here X, right? Angle BEC. So I know that X plus 56 plus 34 should equal to 180. 56 plus 34, that's 90. Let's subtract 90 from both sides. X therefore is equal to 90. So that means angle BEC must be 90 degrees.